All right, what's up guys? It's Apollo here. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to Total War Rome 2. Today, of course, we've got another glorious siege battle. So this is going to be another modded battle. So this is using the uh, the Sebi's unit roster overhaul, which adds like, I think over 200 units, like new units to the game, which is insane. It's a crazy amount of units. Also, we're going to be seeing some factions that we don't get to see too often. And because we don't see them as often, I might mispronounce their names, so bear with me. Uh, so, uh, let's get started with the attackers here. We have Geti, or Geti. Uh, so, we have two armies of them. And then we have Cremeria, uh, which is uh, a really awesome faction. They're all the way on the right side here. Now, looking at the defenders, and this is a 3 versus 3. Did I already say that? I don't remember. But, yeah, it's a 3 versus 3. And defending... We have Scythia, or the Scythians, so they're pretty awesome. Nice little step faction. And then we have the Boii, which we see pretty oftenly, but again, good to see them. And then we have the Odrysian Kingdom. So those are your factions here today. It looks like the Scythians here might be sending out some Cav later on in this battle, but uh, actually, we have a little bit of a fight going on. The Odrysian Kingdom... Charging in against these noble horsemen. Hold on. What the heck's going on over here? They must have been hiding units over here in these trees and they caught these uh, These noble horsemen by surprise, which was quite surprising uh, Quite surprising and it's a surprise. Ah, anyways, uh, this video is sponsored by IVC VPN If you guys are looking for a good VPN look no further in the video description There's a link to their website and there is a discount code. I think they're also having a um, uh, like a Black Friday kind of deal going on so check that out and if you use the link uh, You guys obviously, you know support my channel, so I appreciate uh, the support So let's get started here. It looks like some uh, some towers are making it to the walls here There's gonna be a light defense by the Scythians Oh, yeah a very nice light defense. We got the step axemen moving forward and they're gonna go ahead and try to hold some of these walls uh, But they're not gonna go straight up to the wall to hold it Which you should never do honestly guys never put troops on the wall like you know, like directly on it Because what happens is the game kind of glitches out and the infantry just kind of run past them You know like they get off these these little drawbridges here from the siege towers And they just kind of run past the infantry that's holding and then it becomes a big mosh pit so it's better to just kind of be right behind it or near it instead of right on top of it. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of infantry here. We got Tyrant Tyrant Guard Swordsman. Is that the name of this unit? Tyrant. Wow, they're not even they're not even hiding that they're tyrants. They're like, yeah, we're tyrants, whatever. No big deal. So they're pushing forward. They're gonna try to take this uh, this nice little piece of uh, real estate here as they take this. Oh, there goes a little bit of a. A push here by the Tyrant Guard Swordsman. And there we go. So yeah, we got a bunch of Tyrants charging in. Now I'm kind of rooting for the Defenders just based on that name. Look at these shields too. I do love the modded units. They do look fantastic. And there we go. So a nice little clash of infantry. And this siege battle is already underway. It is going to be a fairly long siege battle, guys. So make sure you get your snacks and drinks. Nice little uh, jabby throws by these Step Axemen. Just trying to soften up these boys as they uh, they clash with their lines here. They clash. <laughs> so yeah, they they're holding this line as as well as they can. Over on the other side, I think uh, Getty Getty uh, is going to be making their way in trying to take these walls. So we do have a little bit of a resistance here by these Thracian infantry by uh, the Odrysian kingdom. Here comes another infantry unit coming in to smash this unit of Carpi swordsmen. Yeah, so I'm probably going to mispronounce some of these names. I've, I, you know, honestly, I probably have already been mispronouncing names. But this is how you get over that, guys. No matter what you're doing, all right, whether you're good at it or bad at it, just own it. All right, just own it. All right, just act like you're doing the right thing and uh, you'll be set. So I'm just going to pretend that I'm pronouncing all these names correctly and we're going to be good to go. Nice little fight over here in this floating vegetation. Oh, <laughs> I always love that animation of the like throwing the troop over the shield because it doesn't look deadly 
And when they hit the ground, they just instant die. It's like they break their neck. Uh, but a nice little stand here by the Odrissian Kingdom as they keep on trying to contain this front line. And look at this battle right here. This is actually really cool looking. You got the buildings, you got the arrow towers, all the siege towers, the troops funneling through them, and then the infantry, the defending infantry trying to hold. Mercenary Folksman. Folksman. I don't know why I gave that a bit of an Irish ac or Scottish accent. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be holding this position. They need to get a, a little charge there because they do have a pretty good charge bonus of 48. There we go. A little bit of a charge. It should help out a little bit in, sh you know, shocking these troops and killing them. The artillery. Whose artillery is that? Where's that coming from? Oh, I see. We've got an artillery piece right here. Bowie Eye shooting it. Trying to go after it looks like this infantry unit over here. There they go. Boom. Burning them. Burning them dead. Noble swords trying to get up on this wall. And a very ferocious, ferocious fight between uh, Get Getty and uh, Bowie Eye. Oh, I'm sorry, the Idrissian Kingdom. We also have this battle going on over here where the Idrissian Kingdom, they sallied out some infantry. So they have these ambushers. So I assume they had vanguard capabilities. They spawned outside of the uh, city walls and now they're now they're trying to get to the flank of uh, Gete. Very cool, nice little fight here. Oh my God, all the shield animations. You see troops being flipped over left and right. What? Look at that. Like, everyone's doing it. They're like, that's pretty cool. I'm going to do it too. Whoop. So, yeah, a nice little struggle there. Let's go back over to the uh, the first initial battle where Gete is now... The other Gete army is sending over some troops. Bowie has got some of these uh, very clothed soldiers. <laughs> it's very hot out. They decided to take their clothes off, except for their fancy sweaters, which looks like bear fur... Uh, but yeah, they're holding off against Gete, and then we've got some Gete reinforcements coming in to support their allies, because it does seem like the Scythians are holding against the uh, Crimeri Crimerian uh, infantry, these Tyrant Guard swordsmen. So a nice little struggle between these forces. Gotta love it. And uh, they, now, okay, well, here's the good news for the Cremeria boys, right? Is that they can move up their forces and kind of set up their troops. You know, they could set up some reserves here. They can set up some archers without being harassed too much. But Scythians are, well, it looks like they were going to go for a push there, but they decided to fall back a little bit. Uh, you can see a lot of the archers over here of the Cremerian archers. Uh, kind of hanging back. We got some heavy archers. Look at these uniforms. My god These are some like decked out archers. Look at that. How awesome would it be to wear a uniform like that? That looks gorgeous Anyways, we also have a little bit of a cav force over here, but the Scythians uh, We got some axe riders. I think two units. Yeah, two units of the Scythian axe riders Waiting for an opportunity. I'm pretty sure they can see them. I don't think they're hidden so, and, and just by the looks of this calf formation of the, the Kermanian uh, noble calf, I think they are getting ready, just having a little bit of a stare down. Also, guys, look at this. These troops are hidden. We've got some ambushers. Again, the Odrissian ambushers outside the city walls. Going to be interesting to see what they do with those units. Ooh, nice little flanking maneuver by these uh, Bosporin, Bosporan swordsmen. It almost looks like a thorax type of swords unit. It just got these guys completely surrounded. These hoplites. The Scythian hoplites. And that's probably going to be the end of this unit. But they're actually going to peel away here. And I think it's because they're going to try to get these archers by surprise. But of course the archers are going to fall back. And look at the rock beds over here. This is going to be an absolute pain to try to take this hill. But they're going to go for it with those uh, the swordsmen. It's a uh, he very heavy melee infantry. So it can, they can definitely absorb some archer fire with all that heavy armor. You can see not a lot of them are dropping. Now, occasionally some will drop because, you know, the arrow will get a lucky hit on a neck or something. But uh, it's going to be tough to kill these guys with arrows. And it's certainly, uh, you know, for the defender's sake, it's good that they are using a lot of, oh, a lot of arrows on these guys. Nice little charge into here with the swordsman. 
And now we have a frontline battle. Lots of arrow fire coming in. From both sides, it looks like. Are the archers firing? No. But was that friendly fire? Whose archers were that? I saw a lot of hoplites drop there. Hoplites are down to 72 originally with 160. And uh, these guys are down to 64, so it's a pretty even battle. But with the help of the archers, the hoplites should be able to hold on to this one against these swordsmen. Let's go back over to this side and see how this battle is progressing. Gete is doing their best, but it looks like the Odrissian kingdom is holding their own against the Gete. They've got these uh, Thracian, Gallo-Thracian infantry just kind of waiting for them to send up more reinforcements. Uh, now, Gete was able to hold off the ambushers from the Adrissian Kingdom out in the open field. And now he can send these swordsmen into combat. So they're going to make their way over towards the, uh, the fortress. And, ooh, hello. Hello, boys. <laughs> Got some naked warriors over here. Uh, looks like they've got some foxes. So big old foxes to use on their enemy. And then we've got more archers in the corner here. I haven't really seen too much archer play in the start of this battle. It's kind of been an all infantry battle. Now, of course, we saw some against the hoplites. Or, or not against the hoplites, but against the, uh, the infantry attacking the hoplites. And it looks like more arrows are coming down on Gete over here. As they uh, try to take this arrow tower... Which I'm surprised they haven't taken yet. But more and more forces. I mean, they are they are not letting up over here. Tyrant Guard Swordsmen uh, charging in. Trying to finish off these uh, hoplites that, yes, were able to hold against the, uh, the, heavy, the very heavy swordsmen that were attacking them earlier. And then I think we got another spear or hoplite unit over here. This is, yep, more hoplites. So another row of hoplites, but they are not willing to give up this area because it is such a key location, guys. Let me just do some slow, you know, we don't, we, we don't need to do slow motion. I'm going to really quickly explain. This is really important because there's one path up here. There's just one path up here. And if they take this, it's going to completely hinder, hinder this, uh, this defense over here. So they've got to hold, or at the very least, make the attackers bleed in trying to take this defensive strategic uh, location. And Bowie Eye is uh, hold, doing their best to hold, but now we've got reinforcements. We've got the Tyrant Guard Swordsmen coming in and surrounding the Bowie Eye Infantry, the Shield Brothers, who are trying to fa uh, face off the Noble Swordsmen. So, I mean, already they're taking on Noble Swordsmen. Now they've got the uh, Tyrant guard swordsmen at their backs and they find themselves in a pickle so it's a pretty tough fight right there uh, over here at the Adrissian kingdom is still kicking butt man and they're making it very difficult for the gate to be able to push through this position and support their allies and you know they might have to just call it quits you know what they might have to do um, hold the attack and wait because it's really tricky to attack this area of the map because it's so isolated. Like, it's so isolated and it's so far away from his allies that he's just having a tough time. He's not getting the support he needs. He can't, it's just he can't based on location. So he might want to just hold off his army and wait for his allies to push through because the, their allies are doing great. They're making progress. They're killing the Bowie Eye over here. They are also taking this hill. Uh, slowly but surely and I think there's only one more yeah there's only one more unit of hoplites so if they kill all these hoplites these archers they're screwed what I recommend they do is fall back to this arrow tower that will give them a little extra help also this arrow tower and this one by the gate might help as well so what I would do is just fall back here Use the hoplites, put the archers here, use the arrow towers as support, and hope for the best. Now, by falling back to that area, you do give up this area over here, which is kind of the main reason why you're defending this point in the first place. But still, if you have a little bit of a presence over here, firing at troops coming up this way, it's going to be a, it's a little bit of a side, you know, thorn in the side for the, uh, the attackers. So, 
I would just make it as hard as possible to, for these troops to die and just make the attackers use a lot of resources in taking this. But, you know, I like how he's holding here. Of course, the gate's active. It's getting kills. Uh, the tyrant guard are kind of holding back, just waiting. And Gete needs to stop attacking. They've got another unit of swords, which are making some progress. They are killing some of the Adrissian Kingdom's infantry, but they're so heavily outnumbered. They're no, there's no way Gete's going to be able to break through alone here. Bold attack. So now we basically have Bowie leading this uh, uh, this defense here in this area. Of course, we have the Scythians who are trying to hold over here as well. But uh, it's mostly Bowie holding this main assault. And uh, it seems that they're just kind of grouping up troops at this point. They're getting the men inside the city. They're kind of holding back the attack a little bit. You can see that over here and over here. Uh, the fighting will continue on against this one unit of shield brothers but that's about it in terms of fighting the siege battle has kind of slowed down a little bit because I think the attackers you know their their mindset is like all right we took this area of the settlement let's get all of our moving parts you know all of our support troops like the archers maybe even get some cav up there get the hoplites up there and then start pushing in The Odrissian, Odrissi, oh, excuse me, the Odrissian Kingdom. Oh, words are hard. F still holding off against this one unit, but no. Okay, wow. Gete is actually sending up reinforcements. They're actually sending up reinforcements. They got the Darpani, Darpani. Look at them. They're crazy. They're moving over this way. I think they're going to take this tower. I think they're setting up. They're going to try to push on the flank over here. Because what they could do, possibly, is send up reinforcements to go this way, and then flank around, and like help their allies push this main area. But uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's. <laughs> I feel like these guys are gonna get shot, just shot down by the archers. Yeah, they got slingers over here. Yep. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. They have no armor whatsoever. You gotta keep these guys moving. Or get them behind buildings. Oh god. Charge boys, charge! Put some clothes on! What are you, crazy? Yeah, that's... I feel like these guys are gonna do nothing. Ooh. Are they breaking? No. They just step back a little bit. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're, Gete's not giving up on this flank. Even though it's going to cost his entire army, he, I assume he's just going to try to bring down as many defenders as possible. Now we have slingers, Thracian slingers going around the flank. I think they're trying to get an easy flanking shot on these, uh, these forces here. There they go. Taking out their little slings, putting little rocks in them. And now reinforcements are coming up. It looks like they have some slingers who are out of ammo. And these guys, I mean, they're not doing bad. Considering that they uh, they felt the wrath of those slingers and the javis from the infantry. But they're, they're carving out some forces. I don't know if they're going to win this. This Charles Manson looking guy. But I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be able to fight through them. If they send up, they might need to send up reinforcements. There we go. Gete is moving up more and more troops. They mostly, I mean, they're pretty much exhausted. They have they have archers and a couple spears in the back, but that one Gete army is is definitely getting a little exhausted. And then back over this way, the fighting is still continuing. Continuing. Bowie Eye still holding against these noble uh, swordsmen. Over on this side, we've got the Bowie Eye axemen. They are holding this flank, and now Gete's going to throw in some of these Sarba Bosti uh, swordsmen. Sara Bost Bostas. Very cool. It's a heavy melee infantry. And now the swords are pushing up with the, with the Carpi swordsmen. Carp Carpi. And I think also uh, Gete has uh, more swordsmen moved up on these hoplites. 
So they are making a bold push to try to take this position. We have both hoplites committed to this position right here. They are not going to give it up. Nice fight. Nice little choke point battle. And sure enough, I think they defeated the uh, the folk, the naked folks. Now they got these heavy spears going into the fight. They are slaughtering these slingers by no surprise. They should be able to, de to defeat these ambushers as well. By the way, ambushers, what did they do with them? I think they sent them back in. Remember the ambushers over here? I'm pretty sure they sent them back in. God, look at all these rocks. That is so gross. I hate deployables. I really do. Alright, swords now coming in. So, Gete's just doing what they can. Inflicting as much damage on the Idrissian Kingdom. And, and just kind of quickly glancing at these armies, it seems like the Idrissian Kingdom is... Fairly low on troops. I mean, Gete did some damage here. And now they're burning down the gates. Because <laughs> they want to get the cav in. Because obviously, cav can't use siege towers. If they could, it would be hilarious. But they can't. And now Bowie is starting to, uh, to break over here a little bit. And Gete moving up a ton of archers. They're going to use them, obviously, to try to... Soften up the defenders and help their advance forward. Here comes another push of noble swordsmen. Again, trying to take this defensive uh, position here. Nice little view there of that uh, intense battle going on. But these hoplites are going to hold for a long time. And that's what they are thats what the hoplites are built for, you know. They hold. They let the arrow towers, you know, do the work. You know, I mean, of course hoplites are going to get some kills. But they're not like killing machines. They're more defensive units. So, yeah, definitely good to have them in a position where they can hold. And then, you know, the arrow tower fire. By the way, where did the archers go? I think the archers are out of ammo and he just sent them into melee. That were the archers up here. And it almost seems like, look at this. The Scythian army is starting to run out of troops. I mean, they don't have that many more forces. They got one, two, three, four, five, six units. I mean, that's, I, I guess if you count these two, I don't know, they're running out of troops. It looks like Bowie is kind of the strongest defending army at this point of the battle. Again, Bowie has been kind of more of a support army in this fight so far. Uh-oh, pikes are coming in. Pikes are moving in, and that's going to cause some issues for these barbarian-type factions because they do not have pikes of their own. Bowie is starting to waver there with his uh, Crimbian... Crim Crimbrin warriors. Uh, but they're going to fall back the pikes a little bit. I'm not sure why. I think he's worried about archers or something. And then back over here, Bowiei. I'm sorry, the Odrissian kingdom holding against Gete. Against these spears. These spears are most likely going to die. And it looks like Gete is pretty much out of this battle. And it, this one army of Gete. There, of course, is the other Gete army. But I think he's now going to send over whatever he has left. Over to the other side. Where did the cav go? Did he charge in some cav? Uh oh. Look. Oh. Yes. Let's not forget about the horsemen. For the Scythians. Very nice. So they're actually not going to go through the back door there. They're they're gonna they're gonna head straight into the battle. You know what? They might be going. Let's see. They might be going through this gate right here. Ooh, baby, we might get a big cab sally out. Yeah, they're going to go through this gate. 
The Adrissian Slingers are over here for some reason. But they're going to charge out and probably get try to get these archers and move down and kill whatever's left outside the walls. If they do that successfully, I think it's over for the attackers. I know it's a little too early. We still have like 29 minutes left in the battle replay. But if they can pull off that cab charge successfully, could be trouble. Could be trouble. Ooh. So a nice little fight going on there. Alright. Now they move out. Scythian axe archer riders. Okay, so they have spotted them. They are now shifting over. Some Sarmathian heavy horse. So it's a very heavy shock cab. And that's that's gonna cause the uh, Scythians to fall back a little. They're gonna go right back into the city walls. Hey, but you know, it's it's keeping the attackers on their toes. Very good map awareness by the Gete faction. Very good job on him. And uh, it's it's all up to these attackers here. Now that the other Gete, uh, Gete army is gone, it's all up to these attackers. And they're kind of cornered. They're kind of cornered in. I think finally, though, they are starting to break through the hoplites. You can see they got some infantry around the flank. And they're not even going to charge the back of the hoplites. They're just going to go silence this arrow tower, which has probably been killing a lot of them. There they go. Definitely going to be the end for these hoplites. Here comes a charge from the noble swords. Very nice. Ooh! So these are key points of this defense, obviously uh, one being here, one being here. Very tight, uh, narrow choke points that you can hold off with just one unit. Uh, and I think that's why uh, we've got these Bosphorian pikemen moving forward, because they need to break through. And if they keep throwing one unit, two units at a time into these choke points, that's just going to put the advantage on the defenders because they can hold like no other. They've got arrow towers, they've got archers. So they've got to figure out how to get past these choke points if they're going to be able to win this battle. Uh, because this is just such a solid position. And they need to quickly take this so they can put archers up here. If they put archers up here, it's going to cause havoc. It's going to just destroy troops that are just sitting back in reserve. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens here with these defenses. The arrow tower has now been captured and now shooting, there you go, shooting at these hoplites. And that's going to cause them to break. The arrow towers do use fire ammo, which I'm pretty sure causes some fear. There we go. That's the last of them. And then they are going to most likely move up the archers. But the archers are still staying put where they are, which is uh, right here. Oh, a little push there. Look at that. A charge by these warriors of Boei. And uh, you've got Gete's just licking his lips like, yeah, come on, charge at us. Let me flank around with my, my swordsmen. 240 men in this unit originally. They're now down to 147, but dang, this unit's big. Here comes some hoplites, too, coming to reinforce. But they're going to fall back to their defensive position. Oh, wait. No, no. Keep... They're, they're leaving a gap. Ooh, they're leaving a gap. If they keep pursuing and hold them back, they're going to be able to flank around troops, but they're not going for it. Push. Push. What are you doing? Maybe they're worried about the cav over here, but still, this is too juicy to give up. And there you go, guys. Finally, they've taken this position. And because of that, yep, the defenders are going to be falling back. The Bowie Eye forces are falling back. And that's the key That's the key point of this battle, guys, is this spot right here. This spot right here. You take this, you own, like, most of the battlefield. Because you can fire all over the place. But uh, that's definitely going to cause them to fall back. Of course, the capture point is by this uh, stone hedge over here. Beautiful Stonehenge to the gods. And Bowie Eye has a small infantry force. It's not it's too small. It's a fair, it's a pretty good sized infantry force with this cav. 
So I think they're almost hoping, and a lot of these troops are hidden right now. Except for the cav. No, no, the cav. This unit isn't hidden. But they've got a lot of units hidden. Maybe they're hoping the attackers will push aggressively and then they can hit them on the side. Like, ah! Hit them on the side. Or they're just going to use this infantry to constantly reinforce this flank. Why are these guys not pushing up? Let's get aggressive. Take that arrow tower. Get behind these uh, Scythian infantry. Which the pikes have been moved up to attack. Hoplite's moving in. There you go. Next layer of infantry taking on the defenders. That will leave an opening for this force to be flanked. These axemen are kicking butt right now. Yes, eventually they're going to lose, but look at they're breaking a unit of these uh, Gete swordsmen, even with the support of these pikes. But they are breaking now. There you go. So they don't even really need to send reinforcements now, but if they did it sooner, they could have probably saved some lives over there. Ooh, nice. Okay, this is great tactic. So they're basically using these walls to go around. Okay, they're using the walls to go around these forces. It's very nice. Now the archer fire is coming down on these warriors of Bowie and causing them to break. They have 85 men still in their unit. The morale is... Base morale is 45. Which uh, is not terrible. It's not amazing. But that's probably why they're breaking with uh, over 80 troops left in the unit. There we go. The attackers have taken this, this position. They're moving up. But the next position is going to be the tricky part. That's going to be the tricky part. Uh, they are sending up some, some small depleted units. Very good. I mean, that's another thing, guys. Never just throw, throw away depleted units like this. They can be very useful at getting through gaps and flanking around. And that's what it, you're seeing here. Nice little flanking charge there. A little bit from the Bowie Eye. Naked Warriors! Not exactly naked as they're wearing like thongs, but you know, I guess we'll live. Another more inaccurate history from Total War. Wait, is this the capture point? Probably not, right? This is the capture point. They always move these capture points around, you know? But we've got this random unit of swordsmen kind of running deep into enemy territory. I think they're going for the gate. Yeah, I think they're going for the gate. So these axe riders are not going to let that happen. They're going to charge right at their rear. Cause them to break. I would break. If I, if I got charged in the rear, I would break. Gete is... Uh, it's starting to break a little bit. Bowie Eye's holding back another unit here. I think he sent a unit down the, uh, the wall here. Flanked around. Holding back reinforcements of Gete. So good job on Bowie Eye. Keep fighting the good fight for this spot over here. Now archers are moving up. The Scythian Cav might be going for another kill. Might be going for those archers over there. No, they're going to fall back. They're going to fall back to the safety of their uh, infantry. I think they were just really hoping to take this gate so they could get this cav. You see this cav over here inside the city. But it, that was a good, again, the Scythian player, good map awareness, chasing those guys down and preventing them from taking that, that gate. And Bowie Eye, look at this. Bowie Eye's pushing back. They're not gonna they're not gonna let them take this so easily. Got some shield brothers coming in.
Very nice. So a nice little stand right there as they take on these uh, Gete Noble Swords. More infantry coming around this way. I don't know why they're being so... They're holding back a lot of reserves when they could easily... There's a gap right here. Of course, there's a unit waiting for them, but make them commit that unit. You know, don't just don't let them sit there. Uh, maybe they're trying to use their archers a little bit. I'm not really sure. Oh, no. Is he using his, his ammo on this archer unit? Oh, no! This is clearly bait. They are baiting the enemy's ammo, and it's working. They, oh, what's going on? A little fight? What? Oh, okay. Uh, so they they are clearly out of ammo, and you usually know that when they have their swords out. And if you have an archer unit that's out of ammo, don't shoot at them. But I think they did stop shooting at them, but still, I wonder how much ammo they wasted. There we go. Here comes the reinforcements. Can you please send some troops behind here? You could easily kill the Bowie Eye. See, they need more help on the front line, too. Send these guys in. You can surround this unit. They've pushed in a little too much. Maybe they can't get up. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's a pathfinding issue here. Maybe that's why. I don't know all the pathfinding issues in the game, you know? There's, there's so many of them. So, it looks like they're going to send this unit to reinforce the center. Possibly. Now we have archers charging into pikemen. Nice. Gete moving in. Now we have the uh, heavy archers falling back from this platform as it's no longer, you know, helpful at this point because the defenders have retreated so much. Well, it looks like the attackers are going full speed ahead for this point right here. You see this point? They're going full speed ahead. They're sending everything they've got. And look at this flanking charge. Oh, no. The general, the Scythian royal horse charging in, hitting the side of these uh, noble swords. So, yeah, this is a great move by the defenders. They fall back to the arrow towers to help protect them. They open up a flank by falling back, and now the cav is coming in and just doing a ton of damage. So, yeah, the attack... Oh, my God. Is that all they have? Okay, they... <laughs> They are desperately fighting for a gate at this point, guys. They're desperately fighting for a gate. Uh, this is going to be a tough battle for the attackers, for sure, because the balance of power is not in their favor. And here comes another charge. Scythian Axe Riders moving up. Moving on up. They're going after these uh, Noble Spears, trying to get them out. I know there's spears, but they're so depleted. I don't think they're going to do much damage to this cav unit. But the, yeah, they're fighting for this gate so they can get the gate open. At this point, though, like, why? Is there no gate? Oh, there's no gate over here. Oh, my God. Well played by the defenders. They've made it impossible. Look at that. Made it impossible for all this cav to get into the city. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, this is going to be a brutal, brutal position for them to be able to take. I don't, and now, oh no, you don't want to give up that flank. Or you don't, you don't want to give up this position here. Because now they're pushing them back to this tiny little choke point. And if that's the forward. case, they've got them just right where they want them. Riders, forward. So the defenders once again pushed back. There we go. Finally, they're going for a push. And the reason they're pushed back and they're kind of hanging out over here is because they do have the arrow tower support. They do have archer support. But I still don't think they should have given up all this ground. And it is good to see that they're trying to take it back. And there is a big retreat by these warriors. Again, that kind of plays in the favor of the defenders because they are getting closer to these arrow towers, which are just like MG turrets, man. They're just machine guns opening fire on these guys. Ancient machine guns, essentially. Noble Swords rushing in, trying to get this Cav in a bad spot, but the Cav's simply going to run away. 
Now we got the general, the tyrant guard swordsman general going into the fight. We have the Odrissian Kingdom going for the pikemen, it seems. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now the Adrician Kingdom is trying to get around the flank here a little bit. Thankfully, this arrow tower has no archers in it. It's all just for show. Because it's not shooting at anybody. There's no way you can capture it. And, oh, look at this. We got fresh axemen. These are really good axemen, too. These axemen right here. We Earlier in the battle, we saw the same... Not the same exact unit. The same type of unit hold back multiple... Multiple units. The hell did you just throw? Nice little flank here. Nice little flank and maneuver by the Adrissian Kingdom. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not Adrissian. I'm sorry. That's the Gaiti Kingdom. I'd be like, this is not good if that's the Adrissian Kingdom for the attackers. And here comes Bowie coming in with reinforcements. They're going to try to outflank the flank with some naked warriors. Charging in with their danglers. Oh, God. Oh. Gutted. Like a wild naked man. And they still have not been able to get this cav into the city. It has been a fruitless battle for the attackers so far. Can they still win this battle? I think it's possible. I mean, they need a real miracle here. I mean, they need to get the cav inside the city. And they just, they are not, like, the defenders are running out of troops, too. But they gotta get that cav inside the city. And look at this now. They're gonna take it one step further. They've got some hoplites. They're moving out hoplites. Oh, my God. And uh, they're gonna defend against this cav. So even if they take control of the gate, this cav's gonna have to fight through hoplites. <laughs> Oh, the defenders are just being trolls at this point. No, they're not being trolls. That's a that's not a bad idea. Mm. So uh, today, I know this is a little off topic here, but today I'm making some slow cooked jerk chicken. Oh, I'm so ready for it. I can smell it a little bit from up here. It smells good. Yeah, so definitely looking forward to that after this battle. I mean, these the, these are the types of battles that make you hungry. You know, that's why I always say get your snacks and drinks because you're going to be hungry. For me, it's going to be dinner. Obviously, I can't eat snacks while I record. That would be kind of rude. Uh, here comes a big calf push. Gete just kind of going in. Uh, the Scythian, or Scythia, Scythian uh, calf charging out as well. We've got a huge... Huge cav engagement, which is greatly in favor of the defenders because they have that hoplite support. And look at this. Look at this battle right here. A nasty, nasty battle. So, um, yeah. Yeah, they've just completely sallied out. And honestly, guys... I mean, now with that, this cav, they're trying. Like, the attacking cav, they're trying. They are taking on some step cav. I mean, that's going to be a tough... That's going to be a tough unit to take on. They got the general stuck in there. The, it's the hoplites that are causing a big problem. But look at this. They do have some flanking cav coming in. Held them back. Some noble cab. We got some noble horsemen. Let's see if they can maybe get the hoplites by surprise and do some damage. They might actually, with this flanking cab charge, might be able to pull something off. But there's just so many of the Scythians outside here fighting that it's going to be... What the hell kind of charge was that? They just, like, instantly stopped. That was weird. Look at this cab charge. Sar... 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 Sar Matty and heavy horse. Oh, they broke the general. They just killed the, the general. Holy crap. They might actually win this because they've got him, like, surrounded with Cav. It's, it, again, it's the hoplites that are going to be a problem. And 
Uh, well, the, one of the attacking generals starting to waver here. Is this a pike unit? Oh, no, the general's gone. The general's gone. Bowie is now attacking the rear of this army. And, uh, guys, I, you know, I know we, we still have six minutes left of this battle. But I think that's it. I, I think it's over. The defenders just didn't have enough to take this, uh, this barbarian settlement. But hey, you gotta give props to the uh, the attacking calf here. They're they're doing some damage against the Scythian forces. But at this point, I think the Scythian player was like, you know what? We've got this like way under control. Like there's no way they're gonna win this. The balance of well, actually, guys, I mean the balance of power is in favor of the defenders, but it's still pretty close. You know. I, I mean, you're going to need some pro plays here from the, the attackers to be able to pull this off. But you never know. I mean, you're, you're probably not going to win the siege battle when you mostly have Cav. Nice little charges. Oh, ferocious charging. I'm trying to get these guys to break. They're down to... Well, they still have over 100 men in this unit. Like, it's going to be tough for them. Oh, there we go. Now they're breaking. Ah, uh, but so is some uh, heavy horse. A 35. That's a that's a good that's a good amount of troops. Now we have the Adrisian, the Thracian nobles general, charging in against these archers. And speaking of infantry, I mean, there's really nothing left of the attackers in turn in terms of solid infantry except for the pikemen. Like they don't have any more swords. It's really just archers. And I think that's why Bowie Eye is making their way uh, to try to, um, you know, kill these guys before the Cav comes in. But it doesn't even matter because look at Bowie Eye. They're sending in more, more swordsmen to support this fight. If they could just... Oh, they're not going to take the gates. That's the problem, guys. That's the big problem. And this Hoplite unit is returning from routing. The general is dead for Gete. One of the general, or maybe not, maybe not. But they destroyed, they destroyed the cav force. So props to the attackers for defeating that Scythian force there. That was that was pretty good. That was good cav placement, good flanking, good cycle charges. But they can't get their cav inside the city. They can try burning this uh, this gate down. It's only five percent, but these arrow towers are going to chew them up if they sit here. So all they can really do at this point is watch their troops die. And that's basically what's happening. Their troops are dying. They stand no chance against the skilled professional infantry of Bowie Eye. And now the Cav is just, yeah, they're done. And that's going to be the battle, guys. I don't know why there's still three minutes left in this battle. I think it's just because the Cav is going to be running around for three minutes. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get us uh, straight to the end results here. As this one is over. And this was just an all-around solid defense uh, from the defenders. They did, a good, they did a great job of holding this position very effectively. Made the attackers bleed. I think from the mistakes from the attackers, I don't think attacking this area is worth it. Or do a delayed attack. You know, come in later. Or just simply support your allies in taking this position. Uh, that's what I would do. Just support your allies. All three of them should have attacked right here. I think they would have saved some lives. Or at the very least, have like a fake attacking army. You know, like you could set up some troops over here, but never really attack. And just, because uh, that's the cool thing with having two of the same army. Is like, you could send like half your army with the other Gete. And it might just look like his army. So, you know, a little, little distraction there. A little diversion. But yeah, they got a little charge going in. So I'm just going to get it to the end results, guys, and show you what happens uh, or look at the you know the kills and whatnot okay so here we are um so we've got armored going as the scythians so they uh, did a great job getting a thousand six hundred kills probably could have gotten a lot more but he kind of threw out his cav and it was fun to see that so charlie going in with two thousand five hundred kills playing as the Idrisian kingdom uh, and then we have unclutch getting two thousand three hundred uh, playing as Bowie Eye. So, oh, the naked war. The fanatics getting three kills. Mad Men. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's the defending side. The attacking side, we've got Gete, um, one of the armies, getting 1,000. 
800. Uh, and then we have Dave the Vassal getting 2,900 kills. Uh, very nice job with the archers there. Cab doing pretty good. And then Crazy Town, Crazy playing as the uh, Chimer Chimerians, Chimeria. Uh, so yeah, good job with these Tyrant Guard Swordsmen. Pretty cool to see them in action, but just wasn't enough. And it was closer than what it looked, honestly. I, I mean, it wasn't like super close, but it was certainly closer than it looked. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up here for today's battle, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, be sure to leave a dislike and let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, but, you know, another day, another battle. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.